Stop right there. Do you want to get fired? Here are seven coding conventions you should follow if you want to be a professional grade programmer like me. Hi, I'm Hickety Doodle. I do the programming things and people pay me money to do them. So as you might be able to guess, I'm pretty good at my job. In my profession, I regularly come across just terrible, really awful code. So I'm here to help set you straight. Convention number one, write comments. This is probably the number one piece of advice that you'll find if you look up coding conventions on the internet. The golden rule is a one-to-one -one ratio. For every word of code that you write, make sure to also write a word of commenting. This is one of the simplest, most easily effective things that really contribute to your workflow. You need your work to be readable to other software humans that might come across it in the future, perhaps on archaeological digs or whatnot. The one-to-one -one ratio is your friend to help you ensure that each and every line of code you write is adequately explained. Remember, readability is important. Number two. Often you'll come across other programmers who like to separate the code they write out into different scripts, different files. And there are many different schools of thought on this, but if you do the research and actually really look into the literature, you'll find that 9 out of 10 experts agree that this is completely pointless. If you're working on a project or you're new and you've just come into a company that's got a big whole interlocking system going on, you don't want to be clicking through different tabs in your IDE. This is just a little bit of software jargon that comes up occasionally. You're going to have to get used to that. IDE, in this context, stands for I Develop Excellence. When you're looking at code which is separated into all sorts of different files, by the time you get to the last file, you've already forgotten all of the words that were in the first one. This is why we have convention number two. Keep all of your code in one script. You could be working for different companies on different projects. It doesn't matter. Just keep it all in one script. My colleagues just love me. Number three. As many other word wizards will tell you, we all spend a lot of time thinking of variable names. That is, all word wizards except for me. Convention number three is a real time saver to help streamline your development process and help you work faster, not smarter. Who wants to have to think at work? Am I right? I'm right. I'm always right. Simply number your variables in ascending order. Each time you need a new variable, just add one to the previous number. In this manner, you only need to keep track of the last number you wrote, rather than all of the different words. Words are for... 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 Um, other people. We do science. Science isn't about words, it's about numbers. Where am I? What am I doing here? Number three. As might have become obvious by now, readability is a really important, crucial factor in this industry. Newcomers to the sport will spend inordinate amount of time obsessing over trying to space things out at a flimsy attempt of organization or something. Like, really? Have these people ever read a book? The English lit dropouts don't waste space like that, so I don't see why us information technology dropouts should either. Be sensible. Get rid of all those blank lines. You know the computer only has so many pixels. Number three. If you've written several bits of code which all do the same or similar kinds of things, then it's really useful to generalize that functionality into one method or function. This prevents you from repeating yourself, and it also means that if you need to change how that function works in the future, you can just change it in one spot and it's changed everywhere. So it prevents bugs from creeping in if you've forgotten to update how a thing works in one place. And it generally also just saves time. And thus we finally come to convention number three. Write all your methods on one line. Not on one line each. On one line. <laughs> Number three. Many practitioners of the dark arts get injured in the line of duty. From carpal tunnel syndrome to square eyes. I've had that one, it's, it's really quite painful. 
Uh, if you spend all day sitting in front of a screen and pressing those buttons on, um... Uh, what, what's the thing? The buttons on the... This, this guy. If you haven't do this all day, um, it can, it's really bad for your health. Which is why proper professionals in the industry don't use these... These, um... Typewriters. Like with writing functions, if you can automate something, you should. And that's why we made speech recognition. Just dictate all of your code to services such as Google or Alexa. They'll get it all right. Computer. If I is less than 10, uh, space, open curly brace, print I is less than 10. Sorry, I don't know how to help you with that. Computer. Number three. Number three. Forget everything I've said so far. Newfangled modern technology is just unreliable trash. Trust me, I'm a professional, and even I can barely get the um, the the button the button thingy to work. Unbelievable, right? The best bet is just to do away with. Oh, typewriter. That was it. It was called typewriter. Yeah. The best advice I can give you is if something ain't broke, don't go modernizing it. The fax machine was God's own work, and to this day, it is the most powerful tool in a software developer's arsenal. I will fight anyone who disagrees with me. I'm serious. I've been doing arm wrestling. Write all your code on paper, the good old-fashioned way, and fax it to yourself. And that way you're just putting it directly into the, um... The... Um... And that's it. Those are the three most important conventions to help you in your dream of becoming a true professional software developer. Software de That doesn't sound right. Wizard. Wizard. I'm fairly sure that's my um, job title. Let me, let me get my CV. I'll just check. And that's it. I hope these handy little tips help you out as you pursue a career in computer... Sci-fi. Computer sci-fi. I use all these tips and tricks on a daily basis, and I just can't emphasize enough um, just how much... Hang on, I have, to, I have to answer this. What do you mean I'm fired? we have no idea what any of It's It's readable. Have you even read Stephanie Meyer's books? You show me where she leaves spaces between... Those books are works of art! Hi, sorry about that. I just, uh, I had to take a quick call right there. Uh, thanks for watching this, um, YouTube tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that, uh, thing. Now you know how to get a real, uh, step up in the, in the software industry. Um, if you did like that, then you can subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorial, which is how to find a new job in the computer sci-fi industry. Where the hell?